Hey, my loves. Hope you're having a fabulous new year. Welcome back to Ravina at Home. I'm Ravina Singh, and for those of you who are new, I'm a certified home management consultant and professional organizer. On Epiphany Day, I did a big and full day of decluttering, cleaning, and restocking, and I'm taking you with me while I tidy and restock my kitchen, laundry, and pantry. This is a two-part video. So here we will be focusing on the kitchen and pantry areas before getting started on dinner. I started my day before my sons and hubby went off in the morning so that I could get some help. These dishes are heavy and many. So Paul and the mini adults did me the service. I'm happily sending off some of these pieces, but it isn't easy to let go of sentimental pieces. Yet there comes a time when you need to pass it on. For me, I no longer want to spend my energy cleaning and organizing things that I don't use and probably won't use. If you remember, I bought this set a year ago and I love it, but unfortunately, it is very heavy. I recently cleaned the scuff marks and I did share that with you in an earlier video. So now they are ready to go to the new home. Young homemakers will be happy to take these items off your hands and you can feel good helping them on their homemaking journey. I'm also in the midst of refreshing my entertainment closet, so do keep an eye out for the video soon. I've been wanting to get new mugs and cups for tea and coffee to replace these old ones. These were delivered this morning and I have just washed them. These are double layered so the cup doesn't get hot and they are super lightweight. Perfect for us. As you can see, I got the same ones in two sizes, 150 and a 250 ml. The next task is to restock. I'm starting with the biscuit and snack drawer. My dad loves creamy biscuits, but never chocolate ones. So I stock up on vanilla creams. go back in and on the other side are the snacks some of them are left over from Christmas and others just need refilling Snacks for Zoe too, of course. I am using these jars from my Christmas setup to store her treats and biscuits. Moving on to the pantry, I'm going to top up the cereals. This is the original cornflakes and this is cornflakes with honey. So I'm going to mix the two and add in some sliced almonds self-created honey cornflakes with almonds. Next, I'm moving on to the flowers and the sundries. The reason some of my containers are big but not filled to the top 
is because I buy what I need for the month, but having a big one helps me to store extra amounts gotten for free or purchased for an event. I also have to make my homemade tea blend and refill the sugars. And now I'm restocking our household supply of pastas and noodles. You might remember that I set up our weekly dinner and put it out on display. This way, they know which ingredients are out of bounds and I think it helps to create a bit of a hype. Sundry's done, I'm moving on to the overstock of canned goods and bottles. We also have some mandarin oranges here. And here I'm keeping away the overstock of snacks and biscuits. And now to organize the pantry. This is my famous instant noodle drawer.
Below this, this is the first time showing you my overstock drawers. In this drawer, I have a wide selection of seasoning, spices and condiments. And in this bottom drawer, these are just some miscellaneous overstock which gets kept away tidily until needed. I'm wiping down this shelf that houses the canned goods and organizing by type. I'm wiping down this shelf that houses the canned goods and organizing by type. Just some extras I'm grouping together in this basket. We have some extra soda bottles from Christmas and New Year parties and I'm putting those away now. This tetra packed milk that we go through very quickly is kept on the bottom shelf because of the weight. As always, just giving all the shelves a quick wipe before putting everything away. I'm really happy how the pasta and noodle shelf turned out. And that's everything in the pantry done and dusted. Now to cook. We have my dad's friends coming over for dinner tonight and I thought some Punjabi food would be good. I have the pressure cooker with my lentils in it for 30 minutes to save me some time. And then I'm going to put the lentils, the tadka, that's the cooked spices, and some cream into the slow cooker. I will let this cook for the next four hours. I'm getting started on my chicken masala early because it's going to take time to cook as well.
Now to work on the spinach for the palak paneer. Palak paneer is basically blanched and blended spinach with some ricotta cheese added. I'm using store-bought naan or flatbread and I'm brushing it with this homemade garlic butter spread. It's just so creamy and delicious this way. It's time to plate the food as they have just arrived. I've also made a vinaigrette salad and some papad to complement the meal. video, I'll be sharing the restocking of household products, including the laundry room, broom closet, and under the sink. And until I see you then, this is Ravina saying, happy homemaking.